Welcome to Inside Wofford Golf, presented by the South Carolina Elections Commission. I'm Tom Henson, joined by Wofford men's coach Todd Eckstein. And Todd, first of all, welcome to Wofford. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's been a really good start of the year. Uh, let's talk about this journey for you and I guess your journey in golf, but more specifically, how did you end up at Wofford as the head coach? Sure. So uh, the quick background golf-wise is that I was born into a, a family with a lot of golf history. My my dad's been a PGA professional for over 30 years at this point. My mom played collegiately at Duke and then overseas professionally for a little bit. And so uh, as the firstborn of, of that combo, I was always going to be in golf and uh, was lucky enough to play college golf at Davidson. Uh, tried playing professional golf for um, about six months or so after I got done, but really fell in love with coaching after that. And so uh, you know, I was, I was a volunteer assistant with Davidson while I was still playing professionally and, uh, just really enjoyed that experience and then was able to get, uh, a grad assistant job at Mercer, ended up spending about three seasons at Furman as an assistant coach, uh, three seasons at Virginia tech as an assistant coach in the last two years as the head coach at high point. Um, and then got to start at Wofford on August 1st of this year, which was uh, a pretty exciting day for, for me and for my family. What drew you to this Wofford position? What about what about Spartanburg? What about this campus, this college? Yeah, so I when I walked on the campus for um, my interview, and I'd been here a couple times before for different games. My my sister played college volleyball and played a game yeah, here, yeah. Um, so I'd been to campus several times, and it it always felt very familiar. And I think when I came back for the interview. I realized that Wofford was so similar in philosophy to Davidson in a lot of ways where I went to school, where it's a small residential liberal arts college. And I feel like that experience in particular was something that shaped me a lot um, as a person. And so when I came here and, and saw and, and felt that sort of environment, it made me believe that not only was this going to be a great home and that I could attract student athletes to come and play here that I felt like I'd be able to relate to as a coach, but also in, when I talk to, you know, Scott Cull, our, our AD and Elizabeth Rabb and so many people around Wofford, there's this great belief that this program can be something special for the college. And I think that belief along with, um, just my experience working with smaller schools, I think drew me it also helps that my family lives in the upstate. So with two younger kids, it, it was a huge draw to come back here and hopefully, hopefully place down some roots and be here for a long time. That is great. Let's talk about the, the, the program. Um, mm -hmm. So the conference, very tough in men's golf. What's your vision? What are your expectations? Kind of, do you have a timeline? The the main ingredient for what the vision is is getting the right people to be part of the program. And I think already in just two months plus of of being here, I think that we have those people here, um, both in the guys on the team and the way that they've worked and the way they are to be around. Uh, they're they're just an incredible group that I've been really lucky to inherit, but also help you know, develop as players. We've got a great group of parents around our team, which I think is a huge part of any program is having support, not just from the guys internally who are on the team, but the people that surround them, I think is a huge part of, of the belief that drives a program to be great. I think the vision is ultimately to compete at the highest level. And first you, you got to compete at the Southern conference level. You've got ETSU had a great, you know, year last year and finished uh, very highly at the national championship. Chattanooga's had a great run. Furman's a couple steps ahead of, of where we are right now. UNC Greensboro, there's there's some great competition just within our conference. And if you can compete in the Southern Conference, you can compete with, with anybody nationally. And so I think we have the resources to do that. I think that we're trying to do player development right and incrementally. And uh, this isn't going to be an overhaul, bring in a bunch of people and try to fix it in one year. We're trying to build a winning program. And I think that's, that's something that gets done one step at a time. Talk about your team. Um, what do you like about these guys? How's the chemistry? Um, just my experience, a little bit of time with them. They're a fun group. They are. Uh, it's It's been a really fun group to be around. I think from day one, it was really apparent that uh, all 11 guys on this team like really love golf. And I think that's a great place to start where you've got that common just – it seems like it should be a given, right, that that's going to be the case for a college golf team. But I think uh, – nobody's I'm not having to kick anybody out to the course on any given day. I'm not having to, you know, ask somebody to grind through tough conditions. Like they're, they all really want to be there and compete. Um, at the same time, they get along incredibly well. Uh, I get to see them here in our, our golf room every day, come in and eat lunch together. And I know that they're, you know, went to the football game together this last weekend. They, they spend a whole lot of time around each other. And I think, uh, just in the time that I've been able to spend with them in the van, you know, on on trips and whatnot, it's been it's been really fun to get integrated with them, and they're doing a great job. 
Speaking of great jobs, let's talk about the, your last tournament. The, the, the Carolina Club played here in town, hosted by Upstate, um, played at the Carolina Country Club. Um, you guys got a tournament win. Um, and not only that, Ben Jordan was, uh, was high individual. Take us through that. What was that, what was that experience like, and, and what did you see from your team during that tournament? It was, uh, it was a roller coaster leading in. Obviously, Hurricane Helene rolled through um, the Friday, two Fridays before that tournament started. And so, obviously, there's a lot – Going or you know going on around the upstate before the tournament ever starts, we were out of class uh, due to you know power loss the whole week before. So our guys kind of scattered into different groups and went home before the tournament. And as a coach, you're, you're wondering like, are guys playing golf? Are we going to be ready if the tournament happens? And honestly, as as late as Tuesday afternoon leading into the tournament, we didn't necessarily know if it was going to happen. Got a call from Todd Lawton, the coach at Upstate, saying we're going to play. Um, the folks at Carolina Country Club did an amazing job of getting that place ready to, to play a tournament in the first place. And so, um, you know, outside of a couple holes in the front nine where the, the river had overflowed that goes through that golf course, it was playing like championship condition. And our guys just came back ready to play. We, we didn't necessarily show it in the score the first day, but I think the second day especially, you know, Ben had a, a really nice round, the second round, and um, – Marshall Butler and Davis Neal both finished their rounds incredibly well that second day. I think Davis birdied his last four in a row. Marshall birdied three out of his last six, and that really put us over the top. And I think that second round ended up being the low one for any team across the tournament. And, uh, you know, we get to the last day, and Western Carolina was trailing us by six. Um, and they they played some really good golf. And, you know, I, I don't think we necessarily played poorly. We, we just kind of gave up our lead. We were down six at one point. Uh, with a few holes left and our guys just kind of came up with some magic like western did give back a couple of shots and we probably wouldn't have necessarily gotten it done had it not been for that but you know charles warren who had you know struggled a little bit earlier in the week or not gotten as much out of his game as i think he he probably deserved to uh finish his birdie eagle to shoot 68 which is the low individual round of the tournament um andrew aquino freshman for us ends up hitting an incredible shot on 18 and makes an easy birdie to, to finish up his round and finish T six. Uh, and then Ben just birdied his last two and took advantage of, uh, some mistakes kind of being made by guys in front of him to kind of creep up and get that, that individual win. I'm super proud of him for that. What, what was the mood of the team after? I mean, you, you get a, you get a tournament championship and an individual. I, I imagine that that's, that can be a springboard. Yeah. We were pretty hyped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think it was, it was such a confidence boost. I think for us, I think, we talked, uh, you know, we'd struggled a little bit out of the gate. We didn't play well necessarily in our first two events, but we didn't necessarily feel like we were doing anything terribly wrong or preparing poorly. It's just we're, we're hitting golf shots, I think, the way that we want to, and it's just not adding up uh, the way that we think it should at this point. And eventually, you know, if your process is good and you believe in what you're doing, eventually the results are going to come around with it. And so I think that tournament served as like a great just confidence boost that we are doing the right things. We're moving in the right direction. And uh, I think to see some of that hard work pay off for, for those guys was, was special. Back at it coming up this weekend um, at Furman. What do you expect? What are you looking for from your guys? Yeah, I think uh, we were lucky enough to go play Furman uh, twice, I think earlier in the semester. And so it's going to be a familiar venue for, for them at this point uh, to go play the event. They've got, you know, some great competition that's going to show up. I know Texas A&M and Wake Forest are both in the field uh, and Furman's off to a nice start to the season. So, uh, you know, I think with that sort of newfound confidence in us, I'm, I'm excited to see how that translates to get s- some better competition, uh, a golf course and style that we should be pretty comfortable with. So if we come, you know, ready and, and confident and prepared, I think we're going to stack up pretty well, but we'll see how it plays out. Finally, uh, Coach, I wanted to ask you about something you got coming up at homecoming. Uh, a little yeah. skins competition, um, a chance to not only uh, for for golfers to have a lot of fun, maybe win some money, but a chance to to benefit not only your program but the women's program as well. Yeah, absolutely, and all credit to to Angie Ridgeway, our women's coach, who's done a phenomenal job of of really taking the lead and putting together the skin shootout. So it's going to be Friday, October twenty fifth, uh, in the afternoon uh, as part of homecoming. I believe the the start is at two thirty. Um, but yeah, it's a skin shootout. So if you make the low score on a hole, you're eligible to win part of the skins pot. Uh, the half of the the entry fees are going to go to help support the excellence funds for both men's and women's golf here at Wofford. Uh, Country Club of Spartanburg, we got to, to go play there yesterday. It's in phenomenal shape. Uh, anybody who gets to play is going to see a, a peak of what the sort of redesigned holes are going to look like that are supposed to open up at the beginning of the calendar year. And I think it's just going to be a great day of fun. Like the weather's been incredible. Um, 
on the other side of the hurricane as well. And, uh, you know, it's a great chance to both, you know, help our teams and support our teams, but uh, you got a chance to, to win a little bit of money yourself when you go out there and play, which is always uh, a good time. And if anybody's interested, they can talk to you, Angie. They can talk to me. I mean, you just talk to somebody offer. We'll get you, we'll get you signed up. Yeah, look anywhere on social media, um, my Instagram page for, for our team or the women's team, there are links in the bios that uh, will lead you right to sign up. You can see it on the alumni page, I think, as well on, on Instagram. So uh, plenty of places where you can go and find the link and, and be able to sign up. Ty, we appreciate your time. Congrats on the being at Wofford, first of all. Thanks, we're glad Tom. to have you here. Thanks on the uh, congrats on the tournament win and uh good luck moving forward. Look forward to visiting with you uh, throughout the season. Appreciate it. Go Terriers. That's uh inside Wofford Golf brought to you by the South Carolina Elections Commission. We'll take a break when we come back. The aforementioned Ben Jordan, who won the tournament at the Carolina Cup. We'll talk with him and uh find out a little bit about what makes him go. Black and gold. Bold. A victory story about to be told. Grit, toughness, and tenacity. A hub of hard work in Hub City. We're on these wins like dogs on a bone. In the zone. Our place, in your face, won't leave you alone. Strength, speed, fire, true. I'm sorry, do these things trouble you? We're Wofford College. We fly the W. Ingles, proud partner of the Wofford Terrier. Did you know Ingalls only sells USDA choice and prime cuts of meat? Maybe it's time to reward yourself. Our butchers cut all our meat fresh in the store every day. Grass-fed, organic, you name it. Not only that, we'll even cut it to order just the way you like it. And we grind meat fresh in the store multiple times a day. It's all in the bag. That's the best meat in town for the best folks in town. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings. Welcome back to Inside Wofford Golf, presented by the South Carolina Elections Commission. I'm Tom Henson, joined by Ben Jordan. Ben, Jr. from Greensboro, went to Greensboro Day. First of all, congratulations, Thank not you. only on the team championship, but your individual. Thank you. Had to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it was, it was a great week. Uh, glad I won, but more importantly, glad the team won. Let's talk about that. It's an individual sport but then you're participating and trying to get a team win. What's that like for you guys uh, as individual players, but you know, again, trying to get a team championship? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's pretty much all, all individual, but then again, we feed off each other. And when we see uh, each other playing well, it's, it's, it's fun to feed off each other. And uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's see how you can do, roll some here. Um, how'd, you, uh, how'd you end up at Wofford? Um, so I'd, I'd heard about it from um, some people that went to my high school and uh, yeah. just talked to uh, coach that's not previously here, but um, came down for a visit and absolutely loved it. And then told him that I, I, I wanted to play here and loved it ever since. What do you like most about Wofford? Um, probably the people. I mean, yeah. the people here are just so amazing. Um, it's, a, it's a great at atmosphere just around campus. And then um, obviously my teammates. Um, we have such a great group of guys, and it makes it makes it really fun. All right, I'm gonna send some rapid fire stuff at you. Favorite club in your bag? Uh, I gotta go driver. I gotta go driver. Why's that? Um, I feel like it's one of my strengths, and uh, it's it's always exciting whenever I pull it out of the bag. Awesome. Uh, favorite course that you've got that you played? Probably um, Carnoustie out in Scotland. Um, very difficult golf course, but. It was, it was a cool experience. What'd you shoot? Uh, I, I shot one of the better 78s of, <laughs> of my life. Um, broke 80. Uh, hey, that's all that matters, right? A course right? like that, it's, yeah. that's, that's all you can ask for. Awesome. Um, what course do you most want to play? I got I got to say Augusta National. Um, Isn't that everybody's if you hadn't played it, it? I mean, It is. It is. I think that's on everyone's bucket list. If, if it's not, uh, if it's not, you got to question your, yeah. your golf fandom, oh, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> You got a favorite pro golfer? Um, I got to go Justin Thomas. Why JT? Just a, just a big fan of him, and uh, my uncle is his his agent, so I've I've crossed paths with him a few times. That's a great guy. That's cool. All right, outside of golf, you got favorite sports teams, um, stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a big Wake fan. Uh, love basketball. Played basketball in high school, um, but yeah, Deeks Deeks sports fan. As tough it may be, it may be sometimes. <laughs> Last time Wofford and the Deeks played in basketball, Terriers won. Not surprised. Haven't <laughs> we hadn't been back since? So, um, 
Um, what's your major here at Wofford? Finance. Um, why finance? Um, my dad's kind of in business and that side of the, the industry. So, um, and then also like pretty much the whole team was on doing finance when yeah. I got here. So it made it pretty easy. Road trips. You guys can study together. Exactly. exactly. Uh, you guys are pretty smart too. That's, I, I like that. Um, what are your plans post Wofford? Um, you know, the goal is right now to still play professional. Sure. Obviously, but, uh, still kind of figuring that out. Okay. Awesome. Ben, thanks. Thank Congratulations yeah, thanks and good so luck. Uh, good luck this weekend Thank at you. Furman. Thank you. That's Inside Wofford Golf presented by the South Carolina Elections Commission. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll be back with more uh, throughout the season.